the discovery of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system, has expanded our perspective on the potential for life beyond Earth. As of now, thousands of exoplanets have been identified, many of which reside in the habitable zones of their parent stars, where conditions might be right for liquid water and possibly life. This raises profound questions about our place in the universe and the potential for other civilizations among the stars, the vastness of the universe when we take a look at the sheer gigantic starry sky at night, many of us realize how small we are in relation to the big picture. The thousands of twinkling stars in the firmament bear silent witness to the fact that our small home planet is only a tiny part of what is commonly known as the universe. Yet, even a quick glance at the canopy of the sky is enough to understand that the universe must be larger than anything we can even imagine, the vastness of the universe is almost incomprehensible. Our solar system, with its eight planets and countless smaller objects, is just a tiny part of the Milky Way galaxy, which itself contains hundreds of billions of stars. The Milky Way, in turn, is just one of billions of galaxies in the observable universe. Each of these galaxies is teeming with stars, planets, and other celestial objects, creating a cosmic tapestry of unimaginable scale, but can we scientifically understand how big the universe is in detail? This question has always been a central point in the field of cosmological research. It is even within the realm of possibility that this question can never be answered satisfactorily. However, this does not mean, of course, that experts would not try to answer it anyway. The quest to measure and understand the universe's size involves a combination of observational astronomy, theoretical physics, and advanced mathematics. The birth of the universe we currently know that the universe as we know it today was created about 13.8 billion years ago. The process known as the Big Bang, which essentially describes the formation of matter, space, and time from a previous singularity, is therefore considered the birth of our universe. The Big Bang theory is supported by several lines of evidence, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, the observed large-scale structure of the universe, and the abundance of light elements that in physical cosmology, the cosmic microwave background radiation plays a central role in the study of the earliest state of the universe. This is a type of radiation in the microwave range that was created in the course of the Big Bang and still flows through the infinite expanses of the galaxy today. Discovered accidentally by Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson in 1965, the CMB provides a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old, offering crucial insights into its early conditions and subsequent evolution with the help of various measurements, which examine the said radiation and put it in relation to different distances. Researchers succeeded in dating the approximate age of our universe. At the same time, this also means that we are currently able to look 13.8 billion light years into space from the Earth. If one wanted to visualize this circumstance, one could create a spherical drawing with the Earth as the center. The rest of the sphere now describes the area we can see from our blue home planet, the observable universe in technical language, the universe visible to us is called the event horizon. In detail, the event horizon describes the spectrum of objects whose reflected light we can just about see from the Earth. This horizon is determined by the finite speed of light and the age of the universe. As light from distant objects travels through space, it takes time to reach us. Thus, when we observe the most distant galaxies, we are looking back in time to see them as they were billions of years ago, however, those processes that take place behind this event horizon are currently completely invisible to our human eyes. Since we do not know exactly what is actually behind the observable universe, it is all the more difficult to answer the question of the overall size of the universe. This limitation has led to various theories and models about the nature of the cosmos beyond our observational reach. The concept of the observable universe helps frame our understanding, but it also highlights our limitations. We can only observe objects whose light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. Beyond this, there may be regions of space that are forever beyond our observational capabilities, either because they are too distant or because the universe's expansion is accelerating, causing these regions to recede faster than the speed of light, the expansion of the universe if one considers the question of how big the universe is in its entirety, an essential fact cannot be ignored. The universe is constantly expanding. 
This expansion was first observed by Edwin Hubble in 1929 when he discovered that distant galaxies are moving away from us, and the farther away they are, the faster they are receding. This observation led to the formulation of Hubble's law, which quantifies the relationship between distance and recession velocity while at the time of the Big Bang an object was still about 13.8 billion light years away from the Earth, the distance between the celestial body in question and our home planet is now already 46 billion light years as a result of the expansion of space. This means that the universe is much larger than the observable sphere defined by the event horizon, as the expansion of space has stretched the distances between objects over time, this circumstance also means that in the future, we will be able to see objects in the firmament that are still hidden from our eyes today. At the same time, due to the expansion of the universe, some celestial bodies will disappear from our star charts in the future. This is because the accelerating expansion, driven by a mysterious force known as dark energy, causes some objects to move beyond the event horizon making their light inaccessible to us, dark energy and the fate of the universe The discovery of dark energy in the late 20th century has profound implications for our understanding of the universe's size and fate. Dark energy is an unknown form of energy that permeates all of space and is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. It was first inferred from observations of distant supernovae, which appeared dimmer than expected, indicating that the expansion rate of the universe is increasing, the nature of dark energy remains one of the greatest mysteries in cosmology. It constitutes about 68% of the total energy content of the universe, yet its properties are still largely unknown. Various theories have been proposed, including the cosmological constant. A term originally introduced by Albert Einstein in his equations of general relativity, and more exotic possibilities such as quintessence, a dynamic field that evolves over time, the fate of the universe is closely tied to the properties of dark energy. If dark energy continues to drive the accelerated expansion, the universe could end in a scenario known as the Big Freeze, where galaxies drift apart, stars burn out, and the cosmos becomes a cold, dark, and empty place. Alternatively, if dark energy's properties change over time, other outcomes, such as the Big Rip, where the expansion eventually tears apart galaxies, stars, and even atoms, could occur, the measurement of the universe as we mentioned at the beginning, international teams of experts regularly try to explore the entire dimensions of space despite all adversities. To do this, experts use a number of different methods that help researchers to explore the gigantic dimensions of the universe. These methods include observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation, large-scale structure surveys, and measurements of the Hubble constant, which describes the rate of expansion, key research methods include certain measurements that investigate the radiation of the early universe. By analyzing the temperature fluctuations in the CMB, scientists can infer the density, composition, and geometry of the universe. These fluctuations, mapped with high precision by missions such as the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, WMAP, and the Planck Satellite, provide a wealth of information about the universe's early conditions and subsequent evolution. Using these radiation movements, scientists can determine different distances and try to quantify the dimensions of the universe. The oldest known light source that researchers have been able to identify in this way is 92 billion light years away from Earth. This light, emitted shortly after the Big Bang, provides a glimpse into the universe's infancy and helps constrain models of cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion that occurred fractions of a second after the Big Bang. Cosmic inflation and the multiverse The theory of cosmic inflation, proposed by Alan Goose in 1980, suggests that the universe underwent a brief but extremely rapid expansion shortly after the Big Bang. This period of inflation smoothed out any initial irregularities and set the stage for the large-scale structure we observe today. Inflationary theory successfully explains several cosmological puzzles, such as the uniformity of the CMB and the distribution of galaxies. Point one intriguing implication of inflation is the possibility of a multiverse. If inflation occurred in a patchy and uneven manner, it could have created multiple, disconnected regions of space-time, each with its own physical properties and constants. This idea, though speculative, suggests that our observable universe might be just one of countless, bubble universes, within a larger multiverse. The multiverse concept has profound philosophical and scientific implications. 
It challenges our understanding of uniqueness and raises questions about the fundamental nature of reality. While direct evidence for the multiverse remains elusive, ongoing research in theoretical physics and cosmology continues to explore its plausibility and potential consequences. The shape of the universe to calculate the size of an object, it is essential to know the corresponding shape of the object. The actual shape of our universe is still an unresolved question within research, which has not yet been satisfactorily answered. While some scientists suspect that our universe is constructed like a self-contained sphere, which could be a part of a superordinate multiverse, other experts think that the universe is rather a flat space, which is also infinite, determining the shape of the universe involves measuring its curvature. If the universe is positively curved, like a sphere, it would eventually loop back on itself, creating a finite but unbounded structure. If it is negatively curved, like a saddle, it would extend infinitely in all directions. Observations of the CMB and the distribution of galaxies suggest that the universe is very close to flat, with only slight deviations from perfect flatness. According to NASA, the universe is a flat construct that is infinitely large. However, our universe itself has a finite age and, as already mentioned, was created about 13.8 billion years ago. That's why it's only possible for us to investigate the time period between the Big Bang and today. The question of whether the universe ends somewhere is actually much more difficult to answer than many of us would at first assume the infinite versus finite universe debate the debate over whether the universe is infinite or finite has profound implications for our understanding of cosmology. If the universe is infinite, it means that space extends without end in all directions, and there is no edge or boundary. This scenario implies that there are infinitely many galaxies, stars, and planets, potentially making the universe far more diverse and complex than we can imagine. On the other hand, if the universe is finite but unbounded, it means that space is curved in such a way that it loops back on itself. In this case, traveling in a straight line in any direction would eventually bring you back to your starting point, much like circumnavigating the Earth. This finite model suggests a more comprehensible structure, but it also raises questions about what lies beyond the curvature, the nature of the universe's boundaries, or lack thereof, is a topic of ongoing research and debate. Advanced cosmological models, simulations, and observations aim to refine our understanding of these fundamental properties. The precise measurement of the universe's curvature, combined with insights from quantum mechanics and general relativity, will help determine whether our cosmos is infinite or finite, the role of dark matter Another crucial element in understanding the universe's size and structure is dark matter. Unlike dark energy, which drives the universe's accelerated expansion, dark matter is a form of matter that does not emit, absorb, or reflect light. Its presence is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter, such as stars and galaxies. Dark matter constitutes about 27% of the universe's total mass energy content. The discovery of dark matter dates back to the 1930s when Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky observed that galaxies in the coma cluster were moving faster than expected based on their visible mass. This implied the presence of unseen mass, which he called dark matter. Subsequent observations, such as the rotation curves of galaxies measured by Vera Rubin, further supported the existence of this mysterious substance. Understanding dark matter is essential for accurately measuring the universe's size and composition. It plays a critical role in the formation and evolution of cosmic structures, influencing the distribution of galaxies and galaxy clusters. Despite its importance, the exact nature of dark matter remains unknown and it is one of the primary focuses of modern astrophysics and particle physics research, searching for dark matter detecting dark matter directly is a major scientific challenge. Since it does not interact with light, it cannot be observed through traditional telescopes. Instead, scientists use indirect methods, such as gravitational lensing, where dark matter's gravitational influence bends the light from distant objects, creating distortions that can be measured and analyzed. Numerous experiments are also underway to detect dark matter particles directly. These experiments typically involve highly sensitive detectors placed deep underground to shield them from cosmic rays and other background noise.